Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Austin back again with another simple tutorial. Now in this simple tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple WYSIWYG editor on your web page. Let's say you are creating a content management system and you want to have a simple text editor where the user can format text, highlight what everything that the user can make use of that text editor. So I made a simple post on facebook showing people how i created my simple content management system and they were wondering how i created this text editor the one you're seeing here so a friend of mine called israel wondered how i created that text editor i never created it from scratch and he wanted to know how to get it but in case you're also there and want to know how to get it how to work with it then i'm going to be sharing it with you in this simple tutorial so what you have to do is come to their homepage called ckeditor.com. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so that you can go in case you're not able to see on the screen properly. Then what you are going to go, what you are going to do, sorry, <laughs> we are going to scroll down. Then they are going to show us the different editors they have. We have the CK Editor 5 and 4. I guess 5 is the latest one. But we are going to go with 4 because it is easy to understand for beginners. And it's the one I used in the other blog content management system. Then we are going to click learn more. And you'll be presented to such a page. They will give you some extra information. And a simple tryout lay layout. As you can see, you can play around with this content and see how it works then what you have to do is come to this button or link where you're seeing download click that and you'll be presented to such a page displaying to you the different packages they provide so we have the basic package standard full and customize the one you can customize and put your own content or styles that you want this text editor to be having but we're going to go with the standard one as you can see it's even highlighted what you have to do is click this download button so you download a zip file people working on windows you have to extract it but me right now i'm working on a chromebook so i'm going to click save inside this folder json i guess it will take seconds to download then I'm going to view it in the folder where I saved it. As I said, people on Windows, you have to extract this. But me on Chrome, I will just have to double click this. Enter inside. I'm going to copy this folder. This is the folder we want. CK Editor. Then I'm going to copy it and paste it in the same directory, the JSON folder. I just want to work with that folder, not the zip, zipped folder. Let's wait for it to copy all the items or files. So it's done. And this is the folder that we want. The CK editor folder. When we enter inside, they'll show you a bunch of folders. Don't mess with those. The one we want to work with is the CK editor, the JS. So the one you're seeing here, that's the file, sorry we are going to be working with it's the file non folder so i can close that i guess i have shown you how you can download that then what you have to do is create a simple html markup and this is mine i created already then i'm going to go and open that file in the browser then it's editor.php so what we are going to do this is the page opened. I'm just going to put it side by side with the text editor or with my editor that we I'm using. What you have to don't get scared about this file, materialize. In case we are to design anything, we shall be using this. But the main purpose is to show you how you can integrate that editor on your page and use it. So what you have to do is create some simple text area tag or element text area. So that is the tag, then save, reload it in the page, and we're having a blank text area, the one we can play around with. 
so what you have to do give it a name the name attribute name and you can name it anything so it is user defined i'm going to call mine content you can call yours editor anything that will not make any change on our page even if you are to reload it will st still be the same so what we have to do is link to that ck editor javascript file so it's inside this json so they are in the same directory sorry this this file you're seeing the one we have opened editor.php it's here but still in the same directory with this folder so that means when we are linking to it we have to come here and we put our script tags and we put the source attribute and here we have to specify the directory where the other file is located so as i told you in the, in the same directory the editor.php and this folder so what we have to do is first specify the folder it is called ck editor then put a forward slash we want to enter inside it and we get this ck editor.js so that forward slash then we write ck editor dot js save let me first zoom in for you guys to see it properly i guess now it's better so finally oh yeah finally we have linked to that file what we have to do is come down here put our custom script tags sorry then we write in uppercase ck editor then we say dot replace and replace is a function and what we want to replace is the element with the name attribute of content so with the attribute of name having this content value so what we are going to do sorry put content and that's it one line of code so let me close this if i save this and reload here we should be able to see that text editor displayed on the page very very simple that's how you can include this rich text editor or WYSIWYG editor in your web application so anyway any style that you'll be designing your page so we can put a simple text on name here i'm going to put my name so we can highlight text we can bold it make it italic strike through stuff like that i can highlight also this i can check the styles as you can see there are a lot of styles we have the headings i can make it big stuff like that so it's very very simple to work with we can insert images you get the url of the image put the width height border everything so sorry you can play around the with this you can insert links let's say we're having google.com we can put the text that will be displayed on that link google we can set the target so stuff like that we can click ok and you can see we are having the text there google with that space so in case you are working with php you can put this in your project publish with all the designs that you want ah very very simple so that's how i created this simple text editor that guys wanted to know i created on my system it's very very simple if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe to my channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorials so i hope i answered your question friend please subscribe to the channel